at friends that are willing to work with us is something that is always filling the heart uh, in a very, very warm and, and joyful way. Uh, I think that, uh, again, the question of delegitimization of the state of Israel mm. is a very acute one. I think that whenever there is a possibility to cooperate with Israel, whether in the economical sphere, whether in the media, whether in the advocacy of the values of Israel here in Britain is a very important issue. We are going to approach the Christian community ourselves and with third parties in order to try to see together with you what can be done uh, for us and for you together to work on it. And I'll be more than happy to do it myself and with the Embassy of the State of Israel here. And uh, I think there is a huge role again to roll back some of the issues of the problematic issues and to go back towards cooperation and towards knowing the other much better than we do today. And again, I want to thank you for this uh, nice words of friendship and uh, willingness to, to help us. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, it's something that's so important. I mean, it's so important. I mean, our, our scriptures, our joint scriptures show the importance and the significance of the Jewish people. And, and we very much believe that God's hand is over Israel and the Jewish people. And, and it was it, it's the God of Israel and the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob that has uh, brought his people back and is protecting his people, which, which are you uh, are representing his nation and his country. So for us, it's, 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 it's so important and so vital that we stand with Israel. And we see the delegitimization of Israel. We, we see the threats that Israel faced from Iran, from terrorist organizations such as Hamas and, and, and Hezbollah. And, and we see the media coverage of Israel. And, and, and just like the Jewish community, uh, enraged by this, this is not true, this is not happening, why don't they report this? Um, is there any practical ways that the Christian community here can actually get alongside the Jewish community who feel very isolated um, and also the nation of Israel? Um, I mean, we're, we're very privileged in, in having tours that once a year from our viewers get the opportunity to visit Israel, to, to see what an incredible and amazing country Israel actually is for themselves. Is there more that we could do to, to, to bridge the gap and show stronger support to Israel and the Jewish people? I think that, for example, whenever the media coverage is negative towards Israel, whenever there is a nasty article in the newspaper or... Uh, it, something in the television that it's showing in a very, I would say, problematic way, Israel or the Israeli values or the way Israel is doing something in which one of the members is, is, knows that is not the right way to describe. I think that there is an acute and very important need to react. Unfortunately, we see the reaction of the other side most of the time. But I do think that uh, a letter to the editor, I do think that a letter to a TV station, I do think that a telephone call saying, no, I've been to Israel, I know the Israelis, mm. this is not as it was portrayed in your article, in your TV diffusion, etc., etc., is a very important issue. It shows, uh, when it will come in big numbers, it will show that people really know what is happening, happening on the terrain, and it is impossible to put forward false uh, uh, articles and false uh, ideas on what is happening really on the ground. I do think that uh, there is huge importance of going to Israel. Going to Israel not just for tourism, going to Israel in order to have business with Israel. I would like people to make business with Israel and to benefit personally and for their community out of Israel, whether in the scientific area, whether in the high-tech area, whether in the economic um, area, I would like very much people to see Israel as a, a country with whom you can cooperate and benefit apart from seeing it and participating in this uh, struggle towards uh, a better times for us and for them. If the, if the Christian community is willing to do this, if individuals, individuals within the Christian community are willing to do this, we are more than happy here in the embassy to help. And as I said, we will come forward soon, in a few weeks' time, to some parts of the Christian communities 
sometimes with the Jewish community and sometimes as the State of Israel, in order to put forward ideas, and we will be very happy to listen to ideas coming from the other side. We don't think that the whole wisdom lies here in this very nice new building. Uh, we would like very much to hear what are the ideas of the viewers uh, that have visited Israel or not, that know Israel or less, mm. uh, in order to work together for this, again, mutual goal of all of us. I mean, ha having had the privilege to, to uh, visit Israel many times, and it, it's definitely my favourite country to visit. I mean, I, I feel very much at home, and I feel very much home being here in the Israeli Embassy with knowing so many familiar faces and what have you, and, and just the general warmth and, and the hospitality of Israelis is, is something very special. But to, um, to our viewers who have not been to Israel, um, why, should they, why should they visit Israel? I think they will see in Israel some things that you can't see elsewhere. They will see in Israel, as I said in the beginning, a very interesting society that is a mixture of so many s peoples from all the world, mm -hmm. whether from Europe, whether from North America, Latin America, Africa, Asia, India, uh, Australia, etc. I think that the five continents are represented in Israel. And this is one mixture. This this is the mixer, mixture within the Jewish part of Israel. And then they will see the mixture between the Jews and the Christians and the Muslims parties of the Israeli society. And they will see how, not as it is portrayed in the media, people are cooperating. People are living in the same cities, in the same municipalities, whether in Haifa, whether in Tel Aviv Jaffa, whether in Jerusalem, mm -hmm not always in conflict, most of the time in harmony and in peace. People will see how Israel is building still itself. Israel is a very, the Israeli people is a very old people, but the Israeli, Israel as a country, as a state, is a very young one. And I think that it is very vivid to see mm -hmm. how Israel is still building itself, to see how the Israeli society learns how to cope with issues inside, how to build a real democratic modern state. And I think this is fascinating, not to mention, you know, earth, uh, things that are so basics, like when it is raining and so cold here in Israel, <laughs> in Israel, the beach right now is around 22 degrees oh, yes. and you can go to the, to the seashore and relax as I just did a week ago. So I think that there are a lot of things to see in Israel. Uh, again, you can, the Israeli society is very outspoken, so you can see all of mm. it very easily. And I think that, uh, again, this is in such a big contrast, such a strong contrast to what is being portrayed in the media elsewhere. Uh, Israel is not just the conflict. Israel is much beyond the conflict when you see it from the inside. Mm. I mean... Uh I mean, it's quite amazing that uh, we're living in a time, particularly since 1967, after the Six Day War, the unification of Jerusalem, um, and the Jewish people being able to return from the four corners of the earth into your ancient homeland. Um, how much role does Jerusalem still have to the Jewish people? Uh, and why is Jerusalem such a special city? I think that Jerusalem has a very special place in the heart of every Jew, of every Christian as well, of course. Uh, in the Jewish society that I know better, mm. even the non-religious part of it, even the secular part of it, uh, cannot be, how would they say, cannot neglect the, the, the importance of Jerusalem. Um, I think when you ask yourself, what is combining, what is the part that combines together a Jew that comes from Ethiopia or from London or from India, what do link them together? What does link them together? And you think to yourself that not all of us are religious, mm. so it should be something else. And I think that the Jerusalem is one of these issues. The idea of the very old capital of Israel that is a spiritual capital, not just a city on the ground, a very modern city on the ground on the ha one hand and very ancient city from the other hand. But the idea that there is spirituality in Jerusalem is something that every Jew has in his heart. And I think that this is one of the reasons that you will find today during the negotiations with the Palestinians 
how much Israel, how much important is Jerusalem for Israelis, even if they are not religious on the daily to daily. Mm -hmm.